exciting. <laughs> hey FlossTube, I'm Whitney and this is my channel Whitney Stitches. We're here to talk to you about our stitching this week. Cat Cat's back and we have a new member of the family. Rocky. This is Rocky. He's our little Aussie doodle. He's, he'll be 12 weeks old tomorrow. We just got him. He's my stitching buddy. He's gonna go run off and play now. Play. So we are here at my mom's house, 4th of July. So happy 4th of July everyone. And fireworks. <laughs> this is her courtyard. Um, through those doors is her bedroom. And around here is just like this really pretty brick courtyard. You hear the wind chimes. There occasionally you can hear a truck drive by. But it's like the perfect view for the fireworks too. Because her backyard looks overlooks the whole entire city park. The baseball fields and the school fields, everything. So free tickets at Nana and Papa's house. And the bathroom's closed. Yay! The bathroom's closed. <laughs> you don't have to worry about running to the bathroom. Or no the porta potties for us. <laughs> <laughs> so we. So what have we been up to, Cat Cat? What have you been doing since school got out? Well, since school has ended, vacation Bible school, going to the gym, knitting like crazy, starting <coughs> projects, frogging projects because I didn't like how they turned out, buying yarn, finding new patterns, all kinds of good stuff. So we end of softball and my middle daughter, their team ended up being the rudder ups for the championship. We were very proud because a lot of them were, most of the girls on the team were first time players, first year players. So to end runners up on a first year, that was pretty impressive. And that, that night they played three games back to back and they stayed hardcore the entire time, which is a lot for a bunch of little kids. So we did that. We have the oldest one doing PT, and we're done with workouts, thank God. We're done with softball for a few weeks. We're in our official OSSA dead week where they can't use any school facility right now to do the official transition to the 2021-22 school year. And that's about it. We've done a lot of stitching. A lot of stitching. I've watched so much Netflix. Hulu. Oh, we finished Amazon Prime. We finished the it. nanny. We ended the nanny. The kids loved it. I decided so to watch Designated Survivor. Ooh, Keeper like Sutherland. He still looks good. He's such a good one. So good. So the kids and I, we finished the nanny and we started uh, Reba. 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 Yeah, right. Reba. Started Reba. I've been watching Blue Bloods when they're not up. Oh, Tom Selleck. Oh, mm. classic. Mustache. Can't. Mm. Mm. Good looking guy. Best mustache ever. Oh, best mustache ever. Yeah. We have my mom. And no, no, no. Sam Elliott and my Kevin Beadle are the best mustache. Oh, yeah. Sam Elliott has the voice to go along with, with it. it. Yes. Thank yeah. you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Mm. We have my mom in the background and my, uh, my sister's best, best friend, friend. Melanie. Melanie, you bought stitching too, so she'll come and we'll show off her stitching. For we you. are so proud. We're getting her back into cross stitch. We're so. bringing her to, over to the dark side of crafting. <laughs> she's already a big crafter as is, but now she's going to join more fiber arts. Woohoo! Okay, so what are we showing off first? We're going to do our finishes. Okay. I have one finish. Nope, two finishes. Or my other one. All right, my first finish. Is let me get the pattern out. Show off the pattern, please. We have my daughter helping us. There you go. This Holly Jolly from the Housewives. It is their first dapper doodad for uh, Jolly July. Okay. And this is my finish. This is stitched on 28 count black Monaco. And it is. Uh, finished with Priscilla's Pretty Flies in the back and I got a magnet on it. This frame came from Hobby Lobby. I got it week before last so it was half off. It's just the table decor and it was only $3.50 so perfect frame for all the dapper doodads and you could even undo the wires up here and paint the balls if you wanted to the beads on top. So that's my finish for Jolly July. The first finish for Jolly July and Cat Cat, you're finished? It's fine because Rocky's oh, going to do all kinds of dog barking. Rocky's Rocky. running around playing. Okay, so my big finish. I've been working on this for 
Well, I started at your house. Yeah, when we did the first class, too. I started yeah. at your house, and I think that was three weeks ago, is uh, Kate's Civil War shawl. Okay, so Kate's Civil War, Civil War shawl. The pattern is Kay's Test Duberville shawl by Kay Medors. And the yarn is Plymouth Yarns on Cars. Because one time they're funny. And the color is 520, which is an extremely dark gray, as you can see. Now, I took, it took three skeins to do this. During the Civil War era, ladies would wear these. Remember, the shawls had to be functional. And so it crisscrosses in the front and it ties in the back so that they, we didn't, we didn't tie it here but it's really okay. But it ties in the back so they could still do all of their daily chores and whatever they needed to do, they could stay warm. And this is how they would have worn it in the winter and then the, the spring, fall, when it was a little bit cool, they simply would have tucked the ends underneath their arms in the back and make it more look more like a shrug. But again, you know, all of their knitwear during this time period was extremely functional because life had to go on, life had to go on, things had to be cooked, children had to be taken care of clothes had to be sewn and so that's what that's how it ended and I, I love this piece it turned out so pretty it's such an easy knit if you are a first-time knitter you can handle this pattern this is this is definitely a great pattern for beginners okay All your right. next finish well apparently I misplaced the chart I don't know where I put it but oh well this was um Colorado Stitcher has a challenge where it's called cross stitch camp and it is, uh, she gives like for June, it was to stitch, um, I don't remember what June was, but July was to stitch a designer you've never stitched before. So I picked two designers I've never stitched before. This was uh, Trail Creek Farms, it's called Boo I Love You. I found it at uh, Get Stitching when we went shopping. So that would be, should be showcased on video number three with Cat Cat. Um, I changed all the colors. I switched to uh, the orange is uh, Embers by Classic Color Works. The purple is Plum Paisley by Classic Color Works. The black is 310 and the green is Mistletoe by uh, Gentle Arts. The stitch on 28 count Mushroom Lagana. So that's my first finish. Because it's so small, I decided to do two for the June, the July cross stitch camp. So that's the first one of it. But I, it's the only finish I have for the cross stitch camp. I'll show off my other plan whenever we get to that point. But oh. that's all the finishes I have. Okay, I brought a few more than Go you Go for it. Okay. So these are fingerless mitts. The probably going to move. Okay, do you want to? Yeah. Okay, these are fingerless mitts. The pattern is leftover sock yarn mitts by Janine Stevenson. Now, I changed up the pattern just a teeny tiny bit. I always add a longer cuff than what she calls for, and I tend to make the wrist a little bit more narrow than what she calls for, simply because most people have pretty narrow wrists and they like a tighter fitting fit for their fingerless mitts. The yarn, unfortunately, I don't remember the name of the yarn, but this is from the Backyard Chickens Collection by Hue Loco. It's H-U-E-L-O-C-O, -O, and Again, I don't remember which particular chicken this is, but what she does is she dyes yarn. She's an independent dyer. She dyes yarn to match the shade of different chickens and all the different chicken species. I have several of her yarns today to feature, and I absolutely, these are my personal mitts that I use for duty at school. <laughs> these are my school duty mitts, uh, mittens, because it gets cold, and you always need something to cover up your hands, especially in the mornings, because it's, it's so cold for school duty. Okay. All right, go for it. Oh, wait. oh yeah, I have more than you do. Okay, my next one. This is my shrug. I started this at Christmas mm -hmm. and finished it. And it really is, it's, when you knit this, this pattern is called Glamour Scoop Shrug by Jennifer Thompson. And I use Lion Brand Heart, uh, Heartland yarn. I had a lot of it on hand. It took six skeins to make. I love this shrug because it's, it makes this scoop shape. And here are the armholes right here and it just it loops around you I'm not gonna put it on because it's so warm it loops around you without any problems and I wore it several times this year because my classroom has no heat so this was just something that I could wrap around me it's not like a giant blanket on you because it really is more like a shrug it you sew it underneath the arms and it scoops around 
your chest area and it's just it drapes more in the back super super cute cute with a pair of tights and a long shirt cute with jeans i mean i wore it several several times in different ways okay and then i'm sorry baby thank you My last finish are my scrubbies. I absolutely adore scrubbies. Oh, Talk about functional. The best things in the world to clean with. I call these the, you want to put this with me? I call this the candy collection because I, the colors all look like pieces of candy to me. Mm -hmm. And these scrubbies, I sell these, these are $3 each. And I have stopped using still wool, uh, you know, an SOS pad. I've just about stopped using magic erasers around the house because the scrubbies will scrub everything. I've, everybody has told me from everything from paint drippings on their floor. I use them on cast iron skillets. I've used these on my antique glassware. They will not scratch that. I use it on my Teflon. We actually use these to clean the siding of my house last year. With, that's what we use. We use these to clean the siding of the house. They are tough. And then once you finish using it, you throw it in the washing machine, then you throw it in the dryer and you can keep reusing it over and over and over. But these just happen to be my favorite colors because they're, they're bright, bright and they're fun. cheerful and they look like, they. I call it the candy collection. I need a set of that exact set. You want all of this? Yeah. For okay. Sure. A good teacher gift for Shandy. Oh, That's that her would classroom make, decor. That was just to make <gasps> the cutest. Oh. Perfect teacher gift. Perfect teacher gift, yeah. Mm -hmm. Definitely. That's oh, and I actually, I actually use these in my classroom to scrub like the end of the school year gunk and the end of the summer gunk. That way we start in the school year. Yeah, they're the best scrubbies. I use them mm -hmm. on all my nonstick right. pans, my I showers. Use I use it everywhere. They're the best. Mix so that with some Scentsy Blue Grotto counter cleaner. Woo! Smelling great. I just use Dawn dish soap. Uh -huh. And it's just, it's foamy, 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 foamy. Super foamy. Not yet. Not yet. Thank you, babe. Okay. What's next? All right. Well, let's work on, that's all your finishes. Those are my finishes. Okay. Let's go on to whips. I have lots of whips. I'm glad you do because I'm embarrassed by my one. Oh. And it's technically not even started. Well, you want to go ahead and say yes, what it is? That way I can. It's, it's super sad, my, my one whip. So, my one whip that I was working on, which apparently I left it in the, I left it in the house. That's okay. No, I'll put it in my bag. So, my one whip that I was working on, I didn't like it, so I tore it apart yesterday. I did. I didn't like it. So yeah, yeah, we we were talking about it it was one that the colors didn't mesh it, it wasn't it wasn't working so i just yanked it apart who cares so i found a new pattern that i liked that i'll be i'll be starting this probably when we're done with this video probably okay so this is my whip uh the yarn is by lynchon and lace and it's called orchid and i don't know how cold it was it's my, needle, my needles are sticking out of it um if you flip it sideways there you go. You can see the colors. colors. Yeah, the speckles in it are just gorgeous. It's like a lime green, a light pink, and a lavender speckles all throughout this cream-colored yarn. And the pattern that I've chosen is called Amaretta by Nadia Crescent Lachin. She's a French designer. I'm sorry. I, I know I missaid your, mispronounced your name. I apologize. She's a French designer, and I'm going to make a shawl out of this that only requires the one skein of yarn. And I think it's just going to be beautiful by the time it's all done. I, lo I love these colors. Absolutely love these colors. They are pretty. I have a lot of whips. Last Tuesday, and I actually, let me go ahead and do a little shout out real quick. Holly Hobby Stitcher messaged me. I'm now following her on Instagram. Love your stuff, Holly Hobby Stitcher. So cute. She has the most beautiful, oh, here goes truck. Holly Hobby Stitcher has the most beautiful quilts. You have gorgeous go 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 follow her on instagram her so account's cute. private so just send her and say hey whitney said just sent me but she has the most gorgeous quilt she does beautiful stitching she's doing this mo modern folk embroidery piece that's a, a, a year long stitch long and it's gorgeous but i we've been messaging back and forth she messaged me and said hey i love your floss too so i took a minute and did kind of you know, you feel like you're a celebrity. You feel like really so special. Much. I'm like, hey, somebody likes me. <laughs> so, uh, followed, she and I were chatting and that Tuesday, we were talking about our stitchy progress and I was like, I just, I started to say, I couldn't find anything. Couldn't find anything that made me want to stitch. So I started a lot of projects that day. 
So, we'll go through my whips. I have, now last video, when I was with my daughter, I said I was going to, when your eyes went, yeah, back. that was so funny. Was I never even noticed it until I watched I the video. I laughed so hard when I saw that. I have the Buffalo Plaid 4th of July by Stitching with the Housewives. I have it. My goal last video was to finish it completely for the 4th of July. No. Didn't happen. So next 4th of July, it'll be done. Not this one. I got every color done but the red. That's where I stopped. And I was over 4th of July. I was over red because I had stitched a lot of red on a different pattern. So it'll go in the whip dungeon until next year and I'll finish it. The whip dungeon? The whip dungeon. Oh, it's a it bin does. under my big embroidery. It's a big whip dungeon. It's a big so bin. Are we the kids for punishment? Yeah. <laughs> Mostly I just send them to the rooms, but I'll send them in there. The Go clean my craft room. That's your punishment. The Go to the whip dungeon. <laughs> <laughs> but it'll go sit in the whip dungeon until next year, and then I'll finish it. I know I only have one coat left, but it's a lot to stitch. I would finish it. I would finish it because it would, it would be sitting there haunting me. Nope, I'd have to finish it. So, but I that's, have that that's why I am, an, I am a monogamous knitter. I'm not. I, I do not have multiple projects going. One project at a time. That same day, I started Hands On Designs Chock Full Harvest. I started the big project, the, the jar, and I got a small start on it. I originally had it in my cue snaps, so I started in the center. Then I realized I didn't want to work in my cue snaps anymore, so I pulled it out. So, that is super cute, isn't it? That's my start. Is this cute? It's on 28 count Joblin. No, that's Monaco. There. Okay. It's on 28 count Monaco. And I'm using the called for floss, except for uh, the chalk I used, my usual DMC 3865. But that's that start. That was one of the many starts for Tuesday. I'll, it may get low, it may not. One at a time, one at a time. And then I have this one. This is Sunflower Farm from Stitching with the Housewives. I don't know why I didn't finish this one because I got a really good start on it and it's so small, I should have finished it. Here, we'll put this back behind it. Maybe you can show it like that. But that's the start I have on it. All I have left to do is to finish the flowers in the truck. Rocky approves. Rocky likes Rocky it. Rocky likes it. So, that one I had going, I probably will finish it because they're quick and easy. Sometimes you just need a quick and easy one. I threw a couple of stitches into this one. This is Hilda Boo and Sunflowers 2. I absolutely love this one. Yeah, uh, with that needle and thread. Cute. It is cute. It's one of my favorites. I love with that needle and thread. She has the cutest patterns. I love that. That's cute. So, and this is what I have into it. I finished the bottom. Oh, Hilda, Hilda, Hilda Blit, Boo and Sunflower Shoe. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Hilda Boo. <laughs> Hilda. Yeah. So I finished the bottom row of uh, checks and got started on the candy cane, candy corn. Not candy cane. And this is on coffee tea dyed evenly from Hobby Lobby. So that was going. That got love that day. I, just, I, I worked on every project because I could not find just one. We'll save that for last because that one, I'm going to get in trouble for that. <laughs> then I worked on my August calendar crates by Stitching with the Housewives. Started the small on it. Haven't put much into it. She tried working on it yesterday, but we got to talking and playing a game of marbles, and yeah, yeah, it. I didn't get much done. She got two stitches done. I was supposed to drive here. It's a five-hour drive here. I was supposed to be able to ride and go and stitch the entire time, but it never fails. Anytime my husband and I have plans the next day, when he gets off a shift, he's going to run all night long. So he ran all night long, both nights. Never saw his bedroom. Never saw the bed, so he didn't sleep. So I had to drive 
so he could sleep in the car. I think it's a conspiracy. I think he purposely told you that so he could sleep and you couldn't stitch. <laughs> it is true. Uh, That's probably what it was. I think it's a conspiracy. She probably did do that. You probably did. For Jolly July, I decided I decided to do one big start. It will not be finished by Christmas, but it's a start. I wanted to do. So sad. You need to hold your head in shame. I don't know. This is a big one. This will take me about like two years. Oh, never mind. I can't see the size of the chart here. That that is big. I'll give you that. This is Hansel Designs uh, Holly Jolly Farm by Hansel Designs in collaboration with Priscilla Bain. It is the chalk on the no farmhouse chalk series. And I just love it. I already know how I'm going to finish it. I know what I'm going to do, but it'll be a few years down the road before it gets fully finished because it's a huge project. And I got a nice start on it. Oh, you're going to need to turn like this. Yeah. There you go. This is the start that I have on it. This is done on 28 count black Joblin. I'm using the copper floss except for chalk. I use 3865 as good. per usual. Yeah, okay. I got a nice good start on it. It will probably get daily love for me right now just because it's one of those that I've always wanted to do. Yeah, yeah, all the kids are going. It won't get no, daily will love. Not. It will get probably burned out. I'll probably get burned out on it at some point. And it just won't stop. get daily I love love. that. I'm going to give it daily love. No, it won't. It won't get daily love. Oh, here's my. Hold your head in shame. Hold your head in shame. She wants to finish it. It's trucking along June. Again. I said I was going to give it an hour every day. And she there was like three days in a row that I didn't give it any time, but then I gave it two full days of stitching. I didn't stitch on anything but this. I trucking along June by stitching with the housewives. You're probably about to hear commentary from my middle child, the sassy one. That gets thick. She's over here giving me a look like, you better. You better own up to your faults. So, this is what I have so far. I mean, it's good. Yeah. Like, I've done a lot. All I have left to put in it is the Ribbon Red, the River Rocks, and Steamed Broccoli. Let's and I'm going to change it. the tea and biscuits out for St. Bernard because I wanted a different color. Just, <laughs> like, just finish it. Just finish it. But that was a lot of red. Then doing that on top of 4th of July red, I was done. So, June's over. I got a whole other year to get it done. We're good. You sit on a throne of lies. I do sit on a throne of lies. Through the lip dungeon it goes. <laughs> we got another year to finish it. We're good. So, for the cross stitch camp, this is my next project. I don't have a start on it yet because I just didn't put it out, but... Uh, this is my other little project for Cross Stitch Camp. This is Heart and Pan Hocus Pocus Halloween. I am going to do it on the other side of the Boo to You, Boo I Love You. Uh, it'll be done on the 28 count Mushroom Lagana. And I have all the cloth for cloths, except for some of it's DMC. I did a DMC conversion. But I'll put that on my Instagram whenever I finish it. All the notes for it. All right, that's all my whips. I have some haul. Do you want to do any haul, Cat Cat? Oh, well, I have some haul. Okay. <laughs> do you want me to go first on haul? Yeah, you go ahead. Because I have a little bit less than you, I think. Yeah, I'll have Do you have your important haul? Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> She's got a really good haul. Okay, so my haul. I was like dancing around when I found my haul. I was like, what? Cat Cat, Nana, and uh, Melanie. Melanie, with, with their friend Maggie and Kate, went to a thrift store. Now, this was a consignment store where I found that. Yeah, but y'all went also to a thrift store. Well, yes. Y'all went, we went, yeah. we went, we went, went to thrift stores and garage sales and all that. So they got a garage sale haul for me. I'm really excited about it. I am the best sister ever. Did you, did you get the block I got you? Yeah, I got it right here. Oh, okay. So, Cat Cat found a garage sale. She got me some Ada, because we all need Ada. For how much? I think it was 10 cents. 10 cents, I believe. I, I believe it was 10 cents. Whoa. And then, I, I paid for everything in, in change. I was kind of excited. DMC! Oh, Look at all the DMC. Wow. We paid like 
Three dollars total. For all that. Mm -hmm. We all know that's more than three dollars for the DMC right there. Like twenty. That is a lot. No, not no, that no, much. Fifteen. Ten, maybe. It was a lot. It's a lot of DMC. But this this really was the, the best, best haul. The ever. best haul ever. She got me a finishing block. Another little block. I like the little polka dots, but the price was only five cents. Best haul ever. Five cents. I was all like, yoink. Mine. I looked at everybody else. It's mine. Like, it's step shape. away. <laughs> yeah. Mine. Actually, it's not mine, yours, but it's a finishing call. Look at that. I it's love the, po the polka dots are so stinking. Don't, I don't care what the words. I care about the size. I have no idea what the, what the words even said. Yeah. I was like, polka dots. That would be the perfect little finish. I actually already have like two things that I could think would go on that really well. Oh, I'm so glad. So that'll probably be, I know exactly what I'm going to put on it. So I have that. I, here's my other big haul. Oh, wait, let's do the one that Nana found oh, yeah. for me. Nana found a cute one too. Yeah, Nana found me a finishing block. Oh, she only paid 79 cents for it. I still beat her, still beat her. <laughs> Just a random block from Hobby Lobby. Look at that plaid. Perfect finishing block. I don't have to add backing, backing fabric or anything. I just cover up that eye. We're good. So, what, you don't want to change one of your children's name to like Imogene or something? No, please no. Student. Imogene, come here. No, no. Go no. to the whip dungeon, Imogene. No. Go. No. Go, go to the whip dungeon, Imogene. No. With the last name more, we could give them the initials I, I, am. I, I am. am. I am. I am. I am. No. No. Her initials are Bam. I know. Bam, yeah. come here. I am. I have that, and then some hubby with casino one wants some money, so I spent it. I bought the Jolly Bar quilt book from Fat Quarter Shop. It'll, it'll, yeah, you're good. You're, you're good. good. You're good. Did you get the book I gave you? Oh, it's in here. Nope, it's in my bag. Casey, we go look in my. I can't see if it's on there. Bag there in uh, my bedroom, the, the 31 bag. I can kind of see and it. And get that it's book that Nana gave me. Anyways, I have this. I'm going to do the quilt on the front. And I have the, I bought the quilt kit. It's two Jolly Bars and all the fabric needed to do the quilt kit, the topper. And then I also bought the backing fabric. Ooh, pretty. Got it off the cat quarter, fat quarter shop. So this will be... I would probably get started on this one pretty soon because this is one I've been wanting for a while. So cute. And it's an easy, the pattern is super easy. So cute. So I would probably do that one soon and I would probably have it professionally quilted because I don't think my machine can handle mm -hmm. that big of a quilt. Because I don't know, we'll stick with table runners on it. That's what Nana's doing. And then I also have, oh that's Nana's, so this is Nana's whip. This is Nana's whip? Yeah. Yes, whip. Okay. okay. I'm trying to do it where I don't. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Oh, she's embroidering it. And quilting. And quilting it. Okay. Is this is it. This is for Abigail? No, this is for another lady. Oh, another baby gift? Mm -hmm. She's Thank making you. this. My, my mom quilts, cross stitches it. She does all the things. We just took pick which craft we liked from her and went with it. Uh -huh. But she's quilted this and doing hand embroidery herself, hand quilting. It looks really good. I like it. We didn't have to get stuff like that. And okay. aren't you glad that I put on my Lume this morning? Because I have my arms were straight up in the air. Lume. Lumi. 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 I thought it was Lume. Whatever. No, Lumi. Because I've been getting tons of ads for it lately. Sorry, <laughs> Lumi. Sorry. It's the bomb diggity of deodorant. Mm -hmm. We could get them to be a sponsor. Oh, I'd be so excited. <laughs> we like you, Lumi. We love it. Lavender and sage. That's the that's that's my scent. Love it. All right, my other haul are the these charts from Stitching with the Housewives for the Jolly July. I'm planning on knocking them out pretty quick. Okay. That one is sweet. That's the bonus chart when you buy uh, cookies and Mrs. Claus's cookies. Mrs. Claus's cookies. You're good. And then Claus. we have oh, Mr. Claus. Yeah. Yep. And then we have Mrs. Claus. Oh, that one's so cute. Ooh. And Santa's Helper with Rudolph. I like that one. So cute. So, I have all these that the bottom for Jolly for July, July. They won't get stitched for Jolly July. And then Nana found this book. Where'd you find it at? A garage sale? Oh, yeah. A garage sale. 
layer cake and jelly rolls quilt. So lots of quilting fun ahead of me. But that's my haul. That's your haul. Mm -hmm. Okay, are you done? Yes. Um, my turn. Kaka has good haul. I have. Oh, listen. I'm going okay. to my stuff while you do that. You think? Oh, yeah. Okay. So I brought some of my Hugh Loco Tootin Collection yarn. Are you sure? I yeah. absolutely love. This, no, I've so used some of this already, so it's already, you know, in a cake. This is Hugh Loco's Backyard Chicken Collection. This is Blue Lace Wine Dot. You get this large skein and then you get two mini skeins with it. And the mini skeins that came with it match the kind of the burnt, uh, the, the darker red, the burnt red. And it also came with a light blue mini skein. And you wouldn't think it works, but when you put it with that, it, there's a little bit of light blue flecks all in this yarn and it just makes it pop. And I absolutely love it. My other haul, I'm embarrassed to tell Hugh Loco. I'm so sorry, I apologize, Hugh Loco is another one of her backyard chicken collections. I do not remember the name of the chicken. <coughs> I lost the little uh, band and I can't remember the name of it. But I remember it came with a dark green, hunter green mini skein and it came with a bright fuchsia. Wait, y'all are too. <laughs> Sorry. And the, no, I'm just a fuchsia mini skein. I can't remember it. All right, and then of course, this one I have not wound up yet. This is, oops, this is Rhode Island Red. It's my favorite. And I'll, okay, you have to flip it over to show both of the mini skeins. It has a go that golden mini skein, and, and then it has, roll it, then it has, that works too. Okay. It has the dark brown mini skein, but there are dark brown flecks all the way through this yarn. It is gorgeous. I, I am not even somebody who has chickens, I love it. But I love this backyard chicken collection. That reminds me of Ruby the duck. Okay. Or uh, yeah, y'all. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ruby the chicken and duck the chicken. Then you make hawk a chicken one. I do make a hawk so chicken good. one. Well, if y'all tell me what kind of chicken he is, she is Americana. She's pretty. I would have to look and see what and she has available. Okay. Um, fluffy, oh, I, I still have more. Fluffy the naked chicken. Wouldn't be a good yard. Fluffy the no. naked chicken. Poor Fluffy the naked chicken. Fluffy's had a rough life. He's like fluffy around like. Ah. Poor Fluffy the naked chicken. Okay. So you ever see that parrot walk up to school and they're just like, I just is frazzled and their hair is everywhere. They have like 16 kids hanging off of them. That's Fluffy the naked chicken. <laughs> fluffy the naked chicken. This is pretty. Okay, so one of my favorite independent dyers is Expression Fiber Arts. I. Love her. Her name is Shandy. Shandy even makes lots and lots of videos. So if you're somebody who wants to learn how to knit or you need a knitting tutorial video, Expression Fiber Arts is where to go because Shandy makes the best tutorial videos. So two, well, a year and a half ago, right around my birthday, she came out with this yarn called Confetti. And I was like, oh, that's it, that's my birthday gift to myself. And you can see I have not knitted with it yet because it's still in its hank because I waited ever so patiently for the perfect yarn to go with it. I love the color. I love the fuchsia, the blues. I mean, it looks like a party in a yarn. It does. What did you say it was? It was like sophisticated tie dye. Yeah, it does look like sophisticated <laughs> tie dye. That's what I've seen. Okay, so this yarn, the, the confetti is is a superwash merino silk. So this is merino wool and silk blend. It's, it's so luxurious. I mean, this oh, is this is luxury so yarn. Magical. This is magical yarn. Yes, this is magical yarn. That's an inside joke. That's <laughs> ma magical yarn. And I waited so patiently because I couldn't pick what color I wanted to go with this yarn to make the shawl that I'm going to make. And then she came out with this cashmere silk yarn, New York at night. And it is a extremely Ooh. dark navy blue. And when you put them with each other, it's perfect. It's perfect. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I waited an entire year and a half for the navy blue to come out. No, I waited a year because I bought it for my birthday last year. Mm -hmm. And I know I haven't started on that project yet. There have been other projects that ha that needed to be done. But it's perfect. That that shawl will never be sold. That is my shawl, and I will be like, happy birthday to me once it's finally made. <laughs> Once it is finally made. Okay, and then my haul. The, the big haul. The best haul this ever. This is the best haul ever. 
So we went to a consignment store yesterday in what, Weather, Weatherford. Weatherford, Oklahoma. Weatherford. Weatherford, Oklahoma. It's a little consignment store by the name of Paisley Jane. So I'm gonna encourage all of you to get on Facebook and go to Paisley Jane. Paisley Jane in Weatherford, Oklahoma. It's a consignment store, absolutely adorable. The Michael Kors tote. <laughs> it holds I, yarn. I have wanted a Michael Kors tote for years. I'm a teacher, I could not afford a Michael Kors tote for years and years and years. I get there, they had this beautiful lime green and I, I, and I change purses every week. I won't be changing purses for like three months when I get this one. I change purses every week, love this color. Papa's in the background. Oh. Papa's basic colors are I, I overall have, blue. I have to admit, I know how much this yarn is in in the store. I know how much it is at the outlet. And I got it for maybe, should I tell them how much I got it for? Go it's for it. It's not embarrassing. I'm proud. I only got it for $68. Isn't that a haul? Thank you, Paisley Jane, for this deal because it's, you could not get any better. However, what makes this bag so awesome is my knitting magazines from the thrift store fit in it. <laughs> I found two knitting magazines at the thrift store and I'm like, ooh, and then look, it's so convenient. It fits, it fits. It was meant to be. And my knitting needles fit in it. My project fits in it. So thank you, Michael Kors. Thank you, Paisley Jane, for my new purse slash knitting bag. It's perfect. I love this. <laughs> Our our papa is behind us. Dad, my dad, our dad's behind us going, Ugh. Yeah, dad, my, yeah, dad did not like the color. But his favorite color is overall, Liberty overall blue. Yeah. That's his color. If you ever see pictures of him, he's the one in the overalls. Embarrassing. <laughs> do you have a picture of him? Um, well, they can find my Instagram. I probably do. Okay, so Maybe. what do you have planned for, what's going to be coming up for you? What, what do you have kind of plans do you have going on? I am going to be continuing with Jolly July. Mm -hmm. My goal is to work more on that Holly Jolly Farm, mm -hmm. to work on the July Cross Stitch Camp. Oh yeah. Those two are the big ones in the August calendar crates. Those are my top three big ones. Mm -hmm. And then any of the little smalls that the housewives put out, the Dapper Doodads or the Care Tree Tidbits, any of those little smalls. If it's something that screams to me and says, you need to stitch me, I'll probably buy it and stitch it that day because that's what I've been doing. And then I'm going to get started. Where'd it go? I am going to stitch. Sorry. Uh, I'm going to stitch the Halloween. Some Halloween cure tray. Tidbits. Yeah. It's that time. You have to start working. I gotta get started. On, on if I start it now. And the cutest patterns <laughs> ever. Rocky. <laughs> Rocky. Rocky's so excited. You can do it Oh, we have Spooky Haunts by the Housewives. I think I showed these off last time. Witch Please and Witch Please, Basic Witch. Those are my three that I'm going to work on for Halloween. And of course, the Housewives will come out with more for the Cheer Tree Tidbits and the Dapper Doodads. So, can you make me a shirt that says Witch Please? I love that. I do. I can. Oh, that's so cute. I'll make. I don't need a cat, but. I'm not a cat person. That's okay. Well, I'll make you a, uh, I'll get you a, a design one. Okay, thank you. That is really cute. Oh, I'm breaking Nana's stuff. <laughs> Sorry, Nana. It's a lot. But I have that. That's good. I'll probably stitch it with the call for colors. My other, I could I lied. I said I had one big project for Jolly July. I have two. Sorry. Are your pants on fire? They are really hard. I do sit on the throne a lot. She sits on the throne a lot. You know what? I think I feel like I should start yelling at you, like the like the witch character from Princess Bride. I go, Maya, Maya. Maya! <laughs> you can have Casey in the background with the cowbell. Shame, 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 <laughs> shame, shame, shame. Yes. <laughs> Casey, yeah. would you do that? Yeah. Yeah, she's like, of course. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Like this is my other project for Jolly July. And to all a good night by stitching with the housewives. It's already cut it up, ready to go. I just gotta get to work on it. Uh, is, and are, what are you showing love today? Because today, today is of course the 4th of July. So happy Independence Day to everyone. It will probably be everything. Oh, 
I'm, I'm in that mood. I'm just in the mood where I just bounce around projects right now. I can't. Squirrel. Yeah, squirrel. Yeah. Uh, Pet squirrel. Squirrel. New project. Let's do it. Let's start all the things. Let's stitch all the things. I don't know where. All the things. All the, all the, all the, all the things. That's why I have a whip dungeon because sometimes they just get forgotten about. To the whip dungeon. To the whip dungeon. You go. Goodbye, Emma Jean. Emma Jean. Emma Jean. Emma Jean. Emma Jean. Whip dungeon to you. Okay. So that's it. That's all my plans. What are your plans to work on that? My plan is I am going to work on my amaretta shawl because I found a pattern I like. Of course, the I love the yarn. And my the yarn, no, 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 I'm using uh, the orchid yarn. And, yeah, yeah, the orchid yarn. Oh. No. And my yarn came from a good friend of mine. Her name is Kristen. She teaches with uh, Melanie and myself. Melanie and myself, she does it backwards. And she gave me that beautiful yarn for my birthday, I think, two years ago. But... If you are a knitter, you understand you will hold on to a skein of yarn until you find the perfect pattern. I may hold on to a skein of yarn for six years before, before I find the perfect pattern. My cedar chest is full of yarn, just for that reason, because it's beautiful, haven't found that perfect pattern. And then when I do, I make it. There's never a llama or alpaca apocalypse. I kept set. Listen, I am ready for Snowmageddon. When we had Snowmageddon this past year in February and it, it got down to like zero degrees, Zero degrees in Louisiana. That's not normal. Mm -mm. We were not prepared. However, I had hats. I had scarves. I had gloves. <laughs> I had my, my cardigan sweater. I was ready for Snowmageddon. I was ready. She was golden. I, 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 I did not get cold, even when I walked, went outside and walked around in it. I did not get cold. I even had my own hand-knitted socks because they were made out of wool. They didn't, they kept my feet warm and they were so great. Um, so those are my plans. Of course, our plans for today, we're going to grill out here. We have fireworks nice. here at mom and dad's. And then of course, the very long drives home. However, you get to have a whole week without children. My kids are staying with Nana and Papa for a week. In Yay, fact, in Nana. fact, the, the mom not doing anything started yesterday. The little one, middle one looked at me, mom, I'm hungry. I'm like, uh, -uh. no, I'm we're done. She's like, I'm off duty. You, the words that come out of your mouth should be Nana, I'm hungry. Like there's no, mom does not exist right now. It's all Nana. And mom's like, okay. Oh wait, I, mom and Nana, mom got me the cutest water bottle. It says no skein, no gain. I'm thinking that's gonna become my new gym bottle. Absolutely love it. Oh, I just noticed the three pounds. The yeah, three, pound, the three <laughs> pound skein of yarn. Isn't that cute? That is a lot of yarn. It's three pounds of yarn. That is a lot of yarn. <laughs> Yeah, my, I'm off duty for a week. No kids. So yeah. excited. Yeah, Nana's dishes. excited yeah, to have kids. Yay, yeah, Nana. Yep. We have dishes in the laundry by ourselves. There's no dishes in the laundry to do when it's just me and him. So me and your dad, there's still there's so little. We, and we go out to eat a lot. Oh, oh we have, I forgot about Melanie. Sorry. Okay. You, <laughs> I have something. What? You forgot about Melanie? Melanie? I'm sorry, oh, Melanie. Oh, no. Oh, that's it. Earrings are coming off. It's fine. There's, there's, fight, words. there's fight words. Okay, I'm leaving. You're in here. Okay, I found this at a garage sale yesterday, which I haven't done any cross stitching in years and years. But she got it for three dollars. I got it for three dollars. It's so cute. Comes with all the fabric, the NDMC. All she needs to do is get a needle. Yeah. Oh, and you know, Mama's got a million. Yeah, I was gonna ask if I could buy. You can buy. Yeah, we, and I got a needle. We've all got it's, needles. It's oh no, because your oh, I have, stick broke. I have needles, but they're not that kind of needles. <laughs> oh yeah, no, you need a little needle. Yeah, no, I don't have that kind of needles. Okay, okay. that's fine. It's her haul. She got it for three bucks. How cool oh. is that? It was cute. So figure three dollars. Why not? We'll try to get back into cross stitching. It's so cute. We'll get her addicted. We <laughs> have we have we have games of oh, Phase gosh. Ten to play. We have games of Marbles, Marbles to play. play. We have and to push Wesley around on the dolly in the wagon. We need to explain marbles. It's not the oh, circle. Yeah. It's oh, it's not no, no, no we don't play like outdoor marbles. No, that's, no, that's a waste of your that's time. That's not marbles. If that's you go marbles. on Google and Google, it's the official a name is Wahoo. We, no. That's a variation of our game. That's not marbles. Our marbles? Our marbles, number one marble game of all time. And don't argue with us because it is the best marble game ever. It's five generations of Youngs playing marbles. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, we still have the original board and the original marbles. We do, and it's hardcore. Yeah. It's we cheat. We cheat. Mm -hmm. We will go across the table. 
You know when you cheated and you got caught because they'll sit there and say, Berna, stop cheating because our grandmother would cheat. Best Christian woman you ever met? She would cheat at she, marbles. She cheated when it came to marbles. She loved Jesus, but she cheated at marbles. And she, when she rolled a die, she goes, I love oh, Jesus, but I cheat a little. Oh, yeah. that, that roll didn't feel right. Let me do it again. Oh, I don't think it felt, oh, it hurt my wrist that time. Let me do it again. That's not the number I That's wanted. That's not the number I wanted. That was probably the only truthful statement she, she ever made. Play real marbles. She'd count. <laughs> she'd be counting one, two, three, and one spot four and kill you. She would. And if you caught her out on it, I don't cheat. Don't you dare she talk cheated. to your grandmother that way. She cheated. She cheated. Only at marbles. That's what she did. But her sons never called her out. We did. We did. But her sons, they never. <laughs> you are stupid. That's my mama. We took care of it there. <laughs> we called her out. Papa would call her out. Oh, he just giggled at her. He just giggled at her. Oh, no, she's waiting until five years after she died, so you tell people too. Yeah, we did wait five years ago. Because she'll come back and get us. <laughs> Mama would. <laughs> Mama would pierce us in a dream. Did you tell the world about me cheating? <laughs> Don't you dare. No, no. Well, that's about it. Well, no, we have giveaway winners. Oh, you. Oh, this is so we exciting. We have a giveaway. This is so giveaway. exciting. I'm, so, I'm sorry I forgot. So, this is so exciting. Last week I did a giveaway with Briley. And the first giveaway was the hands-on design chart. Oh, I, I chart person, do your job. Don't get fired. Uh, hands-on design, a year in chalk, June. It's one that I'll probably never stitch because it's beach themed and we're not beach people. Give us a mountain, give us a creek, give us some, just your classic, we're just mountain people. Okay, so who, who won Catch Away? Oh, yeah. okay. Josie Connor did. Well, yay, Josie Connor. I've never met you, but I'm excited for you. Josie Connor, I'll have my uh, email address in the box below, in the description box. So shoot me an email, or you can find me on Instagram and shoot me a message that way. I would do both just to be safe. And we'll figure out, I'll get your address from you and I'll mail this out to you this week because I won't have kids to keep me at home. I'll be able to run to the post office. No, this one's, that's the next giveaway. But this one's the, I'm sorry, you're fine. And I have this. I have another one. I can't see them. Can I? I don't know where it is. Go, go in. Yeah. Go in a little bit. You're good. Okay. This is gonna help. There's a glare. I can't see. You're good. This is Cute okay, Boots by X's and O's. That's the next giveaway. Now I'm going to say the name wrong. And Meg Domengu. Domengu. D-O-M-A-N-G-U-E. We tried for about 20 minutes earlier trying to figure out how to say it. We just couldn't do it. So Meg, you won. Good job. Meg, find me on Instagram or send me an email. Everything will be in the description box below. And we'll get this out to you. It's the cutest little chart. You sure it's not like Donahue? No, it's D-O-M-A-N-G-U-E. I don't know. Meg, send hey. me how to send me a little thing of how to say your name. Yes, that'd be great. We appreciate that. Pronunciation. Pronunciation. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So we have that. And we have one giveaway for today. <sighs> Okay, I have to admit, this is my favorite. I love it. I think it's I think it's adorable. But I don't like the beach thing. I, we're just not beach people. The waves in the bottom. Oh. I thought that was a fence. I guess I could. You can make it a fence. I could make it, uh, do the flowers at the bottom instead. Just but give, I'll give it away. away. Give it away. I can order another one. Be nice and give it away. I want to give it away. So for today, we have the August Cottage of the Month by Country Cottage Needleworks. <laughs> That's our giveaway. So comment, what, what should we ask them and what should they comment? I think you ought to do the word, comment. No, not, not, comment. not type in the word, Yeah, comment. this word, but uh, what, what, what word should they use to do this one? Let's say, what do we want here? I think we should uh, wait, take the word waves. Waves, waves. Let's do waves. So give us a fun comment, or if you just don't have time and you want to say the word waves to, to enter in. Say the word waves. Yeah, you're good. But Everybody's just, busy right now. Everybody's like, I am trying to go on vacation. I am trying to take care of children at home. I need them to go back to school. So, waves soon. Yeah. So, let us know what your uh, summer plans are. That's our question for today. We want to know summer plans, summer vacation ideas, what you're doing. And uh, comment the word waves if you want, this, want to try to win this chart. It is cute. It is super cute. We'll be back in about two weeks. I'll, we might do a Zoom. 
think you'll have that done to do a Zoom? Oh, no, it won't be finished in won't two be. weeks. It might be. I might be really close to finishing it in two weeks. It may be. It might be finished, but I wouldn't hold my breath. It may be two and a half weeks. We'll see if we can get Cat Cat to finish and we'll do a Zoom. But that'll uh, be my only finish. That'll be fun. Yeah, that'll be it. So, maybe two weeks, maybe two and a half weeks. Depends if Cat Cat can finish or not. If she can't, then I'll just come on and do a small one with one of the kids again. Because apparently, you can't be seen. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Don't smile. <laughs> I saw her. She's over here like leaning, but she's not in the camera. Going. <laughs> so, other than that, that's where we are. I guess we'll see you. In two weeks. Have a great fourth. Have a fun fourth. Have fun. Be safe. Enjoy your time with your family and your friends. Yay, freedom. Get it turned on. Yay, bye.